What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. You're joining me in Oslo, Norway, and behind us is my ride for the next eight days. Let's head to a charging station. We'll get a little bit acclimated with the car. I'll tell you guys why I'm here and we're gonna get some snacks. I just flew for the last 14 hours or so, uh, and it's currently eight o'clock in the morning. We're now charging here at Circle K, uh, let's see what the name of this is, I'm probably going to butcher how you pronounce it, you'll have to bear with me because that's probably going to happen a lot. Uh, oh, this is just Circle K Gardamon, even that I probably butchered, but anyway, it's like three kilometers from the airport, um, the rental wasn't fully charged when I picked it up, which was totally fine, it was at like 70%, so I just wanted to stop here, I'm going to run in and grab some snacks and food and stuff. Um, and then we're going to hit the road to Gilo or Bergen. I'm not sure where we'll end up. Um, but I just need to be back in Oslo on Sunday evening. I think I'm doing this Norwegian thing right. I got a pastry in Circle K and a Red Bull at Circle K. So already up to 87% charge and then we'll hit the road. So here we have the setup here in, uh, Gardamon Circle K. We have 50 kilowatt ABB units over here. We have two Alpitronic. Uh, we have 150 kilowatt and a 300 kilowatt. Those were totally out of focus. Each of those have two CCS and then the 300 kilowatt unit also has one Chatamo, so you can use two at a time, I believe. Uh, and then here we have two 50 kilowatt tritium V-fills, really nicely marked spots. We have a Mercedes, uh, I don't know the model of that, but electric taxi charging on CCS there. And you even have a little electric plug on the Circle K totem. Great little setup here. So here's our route. <clears throat> we're over here by the airport, then we're gonna go kind of this northern loop. Uh, we'll go through Oslo on the way back, of course, because I'll be spending some time there. Um, but then we're gonna head over this way. There's Gilo for anyone that's watched Bjorn's videos. And then we're heading to Bergen. I'm probably gonna end up spending the night somewhere in this Gilo area, um, just so I can get some rest before a longer day tomorrow. And here you can see we're charged up to, well, you can't actually see it there. Alrighty then. Uh, let's go here, I think. Yep, there. So we're at 100% right now. We charged up all the way while I was getting everything kind of set. Uh, and then there we have full power. I'll put it into sports so you have boost. Uh, and let's get going. station operated by Shell Recharge. There are eight satellites, I believe. So we've got four over here. And four more over here. So these are each up to 150 kilowatt. Uh, but let's see what the cables say as far as actual rating. If they have a rating, they're Brug E-Connect. They don't have an amperage rating listed on the connector. And I tried charging on one and I could not use even the drop-in method of charging by using the QR code down here uh, because it would not take any of my American credit cards. I tried Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. None of them worked. Uh, so all the ones we just looked at, those were CCS only, but both of these have both Chatamo and CCS. So, and then here is the ChemPower cabinet itself some switch gear, uh, utility transformer, I think. I'm not super familiar with what all the things look like here in Norway. But this is pretty cool looking, actually. 
But anyway, cool to see this uh, installation. And I actually talked to a driver that was plugged in here. He was uh, driving a Polestar 2 and he was able to activate it with his plug surfing card that apparently comes with the card. But I think there's a lot of work to be done as far as foreigners being able to charge in other countries because as EVs become more prevalent, rental EVs will become more prevalent and people that are renting cars are fairly often not from there. So certainly something to be said about that, but otherwise pretty cool insulation. And you of course have fuel pumps over there because it's a shell station with shell recharge stations. I've charged some really cool places, but this takes the cake. So we have 450 kilowatt ABB units here, and then we have two uh, 50 kilowatt ABB units, and we have a whole bunch of superchargers. Oh, we have some uh, 50 kilowatt tritium units over there as well. And these are actually the superchargers that have the dual cables. So let me show you guys that. But first, actually, let's get plugged in. So like I was saying, these are superchargers that have the Type 2 with DC and the CCS. So here's the old school Type 2 that also does DC for older Model S and X. And then here we have, there we go, that is not easy to get out. Here we have CCS Type 2 for use on Model 3 or for um, Model S and X with the retrofit, I guess. Not entirely sure how that works, uh, but yeah, that's this setup here. I don't know exactly how many there are. I guess we could count, uh, but it looks like maybe 22, I think. So quite a few. These are not ones that are opened up for everyone to use. Here we have the ABB cabinets. There's the lovely e-tron. And more chargers over there. And like I was saying, this is the most like beautiful charging location I've ever been to. Uh, if you follow out of spec motoring as well, you probably saw the spot when they did their Model Y road trip last year. But this is just insane. Like, how is this real life? I can only imagine this is even more beautiful in the summer when the whole lake is open instead of being frozen.
Well, I just unplugged recharge to 80%. Uh, I grabbed a snack inside uh, and some waters. And so far we've driven 124 kilometers. Uh, so we're definitely not making great time. I'd say my biggest takeaway so far is that everything moves a little slower here in Norway. Uh, at least like driving wise, everyone's driving slow. It's pretty common that the speed limits are like 70 kilometers, which is like 45-ish miles per hour. So certainly not that fast. We now actually have a couple Teslas charging here, so that's kind of cool to see because there weren't any when I got here, including one with the trailer. I also want to mention, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It certainly helps out the channel. So far, really enjoying this Audi e-tron rides extremely well. Um, the lane keeping and adaptive cruises is about on par with travel assist, maybe slightly worse, but overall really good. driving by and found this Copal station. So this is a 125 kilowatt on each. So I think it has four ports and it's 125 split is how I would interpret it. Um, you've got CCS2 and Chatamo on both sides, even though interestingly, this side shows the picture for type two rather than CCS2. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I wonder if it was originally intended to have uh, type 2 over here, but here you can see how it splits up power. And then there's 150 kilowatt with just CCS over there. And you have a pretty old school V2 supercharger. But just check out the views here. It's pretty crazy, like all the views at all the chargers here in Norway. Got a nice little picnic bench over here. There's a little like restaurant, convenience store, shop thing. You might even be able to climb that little thing. I'm not sure. But man, this is just unbelievably beautiful. Well, we're in Goal, Norway now at a Circle K. They've got all the flags go in here. And we're gonna plug into this ABB 150 kilowatt unit right here. There's some more over there we're gonna explore in just a minute. And then there's actually some uh, Delta BKK over there. So let's get plugged in. Put the cover there. I'm very appreciative that you can switch these all to English. Maybe. There we go. Start. I always get this order mixed up. Should work. There we go. And let's see what charge we get. We should be getting 150 kilowatt or so, because I think we're down to probably about 60%, maybe even a little lower than that. Oh, right at 59%, makes sense. Let's see what we get for power. 
141 kilowatt. Look at that. Let's look in the car, see what, what it shows. And let's see if I can figure out how to actually switch to the right view. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. 142 kilowatt. Charged up to 90%. As you can see there, maybe we added almost 30 kilowatt hour. And there's 90. And we're headed to Gylo next. If you've watched any Tesla Boren video, I'm sure you've heard, heard of Gylo. So let's get going. Not too far of a drive, actually. I wish I actually didn't charge as much here so I could try out the uh, Alpatronics at a little bit lower state of charge, but it's such fun. now gotten to the point of it being 4.30 uh, and I don't have a place booked for tonight so I was looking and it looks like there's pretty much nothing between here in Gilo and Bergen which is kind of crazy to me uh, so I think I'm just gonna get going and drive to Bergen and I mean if something comes up along the way fantastic otherwise I'll just push through and we'll get there around 8 o'clock. I think we're almost to Eichford, I think is the name. Um, but the view is just insane. Let me reduce the aperture so you guys can actually see. But I mean, uh, just breathtaking views all around, tons of tunnels. Just kind of crazy, actually. And let me just show you the e-tron a little bit. Looks really nice. It is just views on views on views here. Uh, I have no words. And here we have another supercharger and uh, BKK Ebony uh, DC fast charger. This is in Eidford. Decided to get some snacks at this co-op market. Uh, and then I'm going to continue on to Dale. And then maybe Bergen. We'll see. It's easy to remember where I started. The doors it opened up, a place I long to find. My fear and money disregarded for another time. No, I didn't know it. Hit me out of nowhere. No, I didn't know it, but I had to go there. Now take me back to. Oh, I wanna catch a fever in the underground 
made it to a station here. It's a Circle K, but not at a Circle K. It's at a place called Dale Garden Outlet and Cafe. They have a little like standalone gas station thing going on over here, and then they have two 300 kilowatt uh, Alpatronic hyperchargers, so they can do four cars, uh, 150 kilowatt each. Maybe six cars. I'm still not 100% sure if it can do both CCS plus the Chatamo, all three at the same time, or if it can only do two. So, something to figure out here. Um, but yeah, we're charging here. These sites aren't even commissioned yet, I think, because they're just in kiosk mode, but I'm able to charge. But let me show you guys around. So here's the beautiful car, beautiful view. And we're almost to Bergen. And like I mentioned, here's the little like gas station thing going on here. It's just like, it's almost like a Tesla mobile supercharger, but a gas station, I guess, is probably the best way to describe what's going on here. Uh, and they've got a car wash. Looks like they've got some cafe and stuff and looks like it's maybe opening soon or maybe just open during the day. It is eight o'clock at night, even though it looks pretty light out. And yeah, here's the station itself. Looks like they still need to do some ground markings and stuff, but not bad. Charged all the way up to 98%. Looks like basically 100%. Uh, but it's estimating 483 kilometers of range, so almost 500. Anyway, let's get going. 37 miles, 55 minutes, and don't at me for the mixed units between kilometers and miles. I'm going with what's familiar, and look at that 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, that's pretty thirsty considering the low speeds we're going, but let's get going. Brandon here realizing I did not show you guys the stats from yesterday. So we went 490 kilometers, we averaged 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Yes, I'm using mixed units and we drove about 10 and a half hours. Quite a bit. Just got to my hotel, the Moxie by Marriott here in Bergen. And wow, this view is incredible. And it was actually one of the cheapest hotels in Bergen. So that certainly works out. Let's check out the rest of the room. And here we have it, uh, bathroom. Oh, it has an actual shower, which is not super common in Scandinavia. But nice little place here. And queen bed with the beautiful view. I'm certainly not complaining. Just got some food and a drink at the bar at the downstairs of the hotel. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this quite long adventure. Lots of stops, lots of driving. But there's going to be more. I'm going to review the Audi e-tron. I'm going to make another road trip video going from uh, Bergen to Oslo and maybe even another one. So definitely, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button.